Good morning, church, and welcome to this week's devotions. My name is Lola. I'm part of the pastoral team, and we have been going through the story of Ehud, um, which is in Judges chapter 3 from verse 12. We've looked at the Israelites, we've looked at God, and today we're having we're shining a bit of a spotlight on Ehud. And what we understand from this judge this story in Judges chapter 3 is that the children of Israel had were being oppressed by the king um, Eglon. Um, they cried out to God and God rose up a deliverer and that person was Ehud. And Ehud was a Benjamite and he was a right-handed, sorry, a left-handed man. And he um, he made a double-edged dagger and he went into the king um, of Eglon and, um, and thrust his dagger into his abdomen. King Eglon was so large that, in fact, Ehud lost his, his dagger in his abdomen, um, never to be seen again. But um, but the king was defeated and that led into um, Israel reconquering um, Moab and then being able to live in peace for 80 years. So why is Ehud significant? So number one, God rose him up. Um, number two... Um, Ehud um, was a man who was a um, left-handed man and he was from the tribe of Benjamin and they were a warrior tribe and um, I th in that time we, we, I mean we understand even in our society that we live in now being left-handed can sometimes present some challenges when the world is kind of made for right-handed people um, and it was no different back then probably significantly worse that you would have this man who is supposed to be a warrior but yet he can't use his right hand and even in the original language um rather than as we would describe it now and our understanding is better we would just be like okay their brain is wired in a different way and this person instead of being left-handed they are in the t in the 10 to 9 percent of people who um, use their left hand instead of their right. Whereas back then, it was considered if you were disabled in the right hand, your right hand was didn't work. So therefore, you had to use your left hand rather than that actually really being the true dominant hand. And um, this weakness or this, um, which would have been perceived as a weakness, actually turned out to be Ehud's main strength. Because um, the reason he was able to get into um, King Eglon up close and personal with a dagger on his body um, was because um, likely as he went in and was searched by the king's servants, they searched his left thigh, which would be the place where anyone would hide a dagger, not, uh, not expecting um a left-handed um, warrior to be um, to be showing up to kill the king. So, um, so that is really um, one of the um, one of the great lessons from from this man Ehud is that actually um, things which may be considered a weakness in society or by people um, in the hands of God can actually be used to a great advantage. And they can be a strength um, and that being different um, is not a bad thing when God is involved. And again, often God will use our differences um, to be the things that really set us apart from others. Mm -hmm.